Hey guys, good afternoon. I am taking a service call right now on a piece of equipment um, supposedly leaking water downstairs. Um, we just got done with a real bad rainstorm from that hurricane that came up from Louisiana and it's flooding uh, a lot of places throughout the building. So I'm coming down, just take a look, see if it is the air handler. I'm gonna flush the drain while I'm here. So here I am, here's the uh, air handler, okay. Old air handler, probably 30 years old roughly. Okay, now um, you can see there are water marks up on the ceiling, there's pipes, there's a header, um, a drain pipe right here going down behind me. Um, there is, let me try to slide around here gently, gently, gently. Uh, it's coming down here. We got water way down there. If you can see it dripping way down there, they're gonna have to cut a hole in the wall. Um, now, uh, a couple things here. If you ever wonder why equipment is neglected, okay, and I mean, not saying that people are lazy, but why people can't work on things. Well, here is a good example why they don't teach you in HVAC booklets. That's one reason why I shoot these videos, to show you guys the actual eyes actually getting on the equipment, okay? Who's working on it? Example, okay, that's a six foot ladder down there, okay? Now, yes, I know I should be using a taller ladder to get up here. Okay, well, there's only so many people that can fit through a 16 inch opening, okay? I've met a few technicians a little bit larger than that to get their belly through. Okay, so even if you had a taller ladder, how do you get your arms all the way over here to flush the drain or to work on the unit, okay? Or just say I have to pull the blower assembly out, okay? And if that whole blower wheel and all, how does it fit through here? So they did get the equipment up here at one time and most likely um, uh, had an opening somewhere and just slid it up here above the ceiling. So now there are some areas over there where you can walk, but it's still left open at certain areas and is rather dangerous, okay? Um, I was able to grab onto this um, sprinkler pipe and do a pull up and then throw my leg up over the joist to work up here. So, okay, so anyways, now let's get down to this. Now, I wanna flush this trap, okay? A lot of times when units are installed, people go cheap and they'll put just like a street 90 on here or just an, an elbow and go down, build a little trap out of like four different pieces, okay? And then they'll run it down through the drain and go down and down out of the place into a, a drain or a stack pipe they'll put it into. Well, me personally, I like to remove all that, okay? I want easy access to flush my drain, okay? I don't like to um, have problems. So let me set this down here and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Now my little arsenal of tools that I do like to use, okay, there is this little pipe cleaner, okay, it's very flexible. What I typically will do, I'll take off the top of my trap, okay? Now, I can go ahead and bend this tip a little bit and I can feed it so it goes just, just in here. Let's try to weave that in there, I'm sorry. Uh, just a bad angle here. Because the piping's in the way too. Now, this is going right now in towards the air handler, which is good, okay? Because this pipe does get clogged in there. Pop that out. I like to rinse it off with a little bit of little bit of water, then straighten that tip out, and then I'll go straight down, straight down in there. So right now I'm probably about here in this trap, okay? So I'm I'm brushing that out, okay? Brushing that out with this tip. Now, after that, I'll typically take, I have different funnels take a funnel I'll set it right on top okay then I'll take um, usually hot water or a mixture of hot water and evap coil cleaner I'll flush down that trap I'll make sure that flushes out now after that I take my gallo gun okay this is a co2 packet powered tool okay take it open that up go ahead put your co2 packet in crank her down okay you set that right on top and you're going to use that pressure okay that's all it is is just some co2 packet pressure okay co2 packets okay now always always fill that trap if you do not 
there are times where this is piped directly into a stack pipe. Well, without that column of liquid plugging up that trap, you will get, you will get um, an odor of sewage gas coming up, goes right back into that air handler, and believe me, your customer does not want that. <laughs> Nobody wants to smell that sewage gas. Then put your cap back on, and that's pretty much pretty much it. And we verified that our drain is clean and clear. So, okay, guys, I got to get out of here and head over to another piece of equipment at this time. So, oh, I got my mask there. Okay, yeah, sometimes spare parts get left behind. So, okay, guys, hopefully you're learning. Um, please give me any uh, comments, concerns, criticisms, questions, whatever you guys want. I may be able to answer them. So um, just trying to give you an aspect and put you in uh, the technician's shoes with these videos. So hopefully you guys like them and hopefully you're learning. Thank you very much for watching HVAC Explained. See ya.